Oh, I love Sammy. Uh, first of all, when I was growing up, Sammy Davis Jr., even before the, when he was the Will Maston trio and then he went out on his own, was like, oh my God, he's the greatest entertainer of all. And then to know him as a friend as well, it was like unbelievable. So I, we were always very comfortable with Sammy. And I remember <laughs> my husband and I were newlyweds and we were going to look at an apartment. And he was, Sammy was married to my Brit at the time. And so, of course, you know, it was like, oh, similar situations we have here. And it was doing a lunch break. And we said, oh, Sammy, we're going to go look at an apartment and we'll see you when we come back. And so we go to this apartment that's on the east side. And I'm in a mink coat with my husband. And uh, the doorman kind of said, okay, so can I help you? And Graham says, yeah, well, we're here to look at an apartment such and such and such. And the guy gets on the end of the count. He said, there's a, a white man here with his maid. <laughs> and I thought to myself, a maid in a mink coat? She must be doing well. <laughs> and so then we go up, and the woman has opened the door, and she's like, first of all, I think she recognized me. And she was like, oh, my God. And I thought to myself, we ain't going to be in this building. <laughs> Nix that. <laughs> and we came back, we told Sammy the, the story, and he said, mm hmm, see? <laughs> but I loved working with Sammy. It was just, just a joy, and loved hanging out with him. And, you know, he was such an entertainer that you could only learn from watching him. And he was just a sweet, sweet man. And, and Maya was a wonderful woman. So that was a great experience. I met Johnny when I was like 17, 18. They used to have these functions and they'd have different people sitting on the dais and because I was on Sing Along with the Mitch, I was one of the people and I always wound up sitting next to Johnny Carson, who then was a wild and crazy person. <laughs> you know, then of course, then uh, when I got to be more famous and everything, um, he loved having me on the show. And when, if you got to sit down on the panel, that meant something. So um, he would have me sit down there and we would talk. And, but you never really got to know Johnny. But when I knew him, he was wild and crazy when I first met him. But then, you know, he, would, he stopped drinking and all that stuff. And then he became, you know, more of a, a statesman. But uh, it was great working with him. He liked good singing. F.S. <laughs> <laughs> F.S. He was the man. He was the man. But he was tough. You know, you better bring it. He, he was tough. And when I did that special with him, I was in Vegas rehearsing Guys and Dolls. And I, I'm going to be with Frank Sinatra on his special. So I, Bob Mackey made me this fabulous dress and this that turban thing you had. So it was going to be it was me, Natalie Cole, and Loretta Lynn. And then I, uh, John Denver, Dean Martin, I forgot who the third person was, but they shot the women in one day. So I come there and I'm dressed and make, made up and everything. And somebody knocks on my door and I open the dressing room door and they said, uh, Frank is not in a good mood. I went, what? What happened? He said, well, he had a little problem with somebody earlier. And Frank only liked to do one take. And he wound up doing like seven takes. And so he was not happy. And I said, oh, no, because he and I are going to do this fabulous duet of Lady is a Tramp and everything. And I got this dress. And I'm... So I, as I'm walking out of the dressing room, Frank is coming out of his dressing room. And I said, I heard you had a fabulous day. And he looked at me and he started laughing. And so then we went on and, and did our number and it, it was great. But um, I, I had sung at a few functions that he had been at and he said to the audience, that girl can sing, she's fabulous. So that was, that was a thrill. Was there anyone in particular that you loved doing duets with? Well, Frank, I mean, that was like, Killer, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you are making history with, with him, and uh, you know he had a certain groove, and you had to make sure that you, for you to work, 
well together to, to do that groove. But I mean, I, I, you know, three years old, my mother said I was singing his song. So for me, this was like, ah, I'm singing with Frank Sinatra. 